Hi there, this is Rance and welcome to my first blog for NBA Supercards. If you are looking for tips and guide on how to fight over the first spot in every champion's tournament and earn powerful rewards, this guide is for you. Today I will show you my champion's game progression in Sapphire tier. But wait Rance, you are in Ruby, why play? champions in sapphire first i am a free to play player i'll be honest i already tried three ruby tier champions tournament and i ended in second third and sixth place respectively and i get to spend my free coins to get guaranteed players and stamina refill which i don't like as i want to save my coins for something else Ruby Champions Tournament are now full of players in Ruby Plus tier or higher and they have coins to spend in order to get that first place reward no matter what the cost. If you want to compete, be my guest. But if you want a chill Champions Tournament, play in Sapphire and use the guide that I'm about to share with you. Second. If you watch this video until the end, I do have a surprise for you. So it all starts with your champion's deck, which consists of ball handlers, wings, and bigs. What is unique about the deck you are seeing right now? If you increase any of the player card, the tier will go up instantly to ruby. Let's swap level 0 sapphire pro kyle lowry with the same card but this time a level 15 pro kyle lowry notice the tier above changed to ruby another unique thing about this deck is that it has five untrained players all of the players you see here are all fully trained except for the following level 0 Lunar Ruby Pro Kobe Bryant, Level 0 Lunar Ruby Pro Gordon Hayward, Level 0 Sapphire Pro Dirk Nowitzki, Level 0 Sapphire Kyle Lowry, and Level 0 Sapphire Jewel Lloyd. If you can make a deck similar to this, so much better. As you already noticed, this deck has the max requirement for Sapphire tier, but as soon as you train any of the players I mentioned before the start of game 1, it will give you a huge advantage with other players as your tier bar will increase further compared with them. Also, before starting a tournament, make sure to complete champions challenges. To ensure your team has the best possible start this is very important make sure to fully train your untrained player before the start of game one fully trained only sapphire pro dirk Nowitzki, sapphire pro kyle lowry and sapphire pro jewel lloyd leave kobe and gordon at level zero I'd like them both to be at level 0 all throughout the tournament. Then manage your team by sending players to challenges. Now, by sending players to challenges, it gives them stamina, stat boost, a second wind, a stamina boost, or gain a support card for the upcoming game. Each player can only be sent on one challenge before each game. So selecting the ideal challenge for each player is vital. So this is the standing at the start of the tournament. We are ready for game one. In the tournament, there are 15 games that needs to be simulated. A game takes 15 minutes to simulate and 45 minutes to prepare for the next game. The whole tournament takes 15 hours of your time. 
all players lose stamina but the players who participated in the game will lose more. This is why you need to monitor the progression after each game. So set that alarm clock every hour as maintaining full stamina for all your players are vital for the tournament. Players, by the way, are randomly selected for the games. This is the standing after five games. This is the standing after 10 games. Now, for the surprise that I'm talking about at the start of this video, as soon as game 15 ended, leave the Champions Tournament ASAP and check Champions deck to make sure it is in Ruby tier. And for the big surprise, let's check the reward. Ta -da! Now, start your own Champions Tournament in Sapphire tier. Before I end, please allow me to give a shout out to my Pinoy Bowlers team, composed of the following players, Dindin as our general, Koss and Earl as our officers, and of course our teammates, Tristan, Bong Chun Hoes, Boss JR, Forever KB, H8 The Game, Jackson, JC, Jojo, Lord Jensen, Mike, and last but not least, Yami. If you are interested to join us, we have a Discord server which you can find in the description of this video. Also, a Facebook group page where we can collaborate more about this game. See ya!